Hello everybody, Emma Power here. I'm not sure if this will work or not, but uh, we're just going to run with it and see. And, uh, yeah, I'm experiencing a lot of black here. Um, I'm just playing some MTG Arena and I wanted to show off a really cool budget deck that I think a lot of people miss out on when it comes to MTG Arena because I know there's like loads of decks that they give you, there's a few themed decks and then obviously you can earn the other decks, like these ones on the top, you can, you can pretty much earn these all from just like, from just completing like mastery rolls and stuff, but this deck over here, the House of Dimir, is the one I really wanted to have a look at because it is a super cheap deck in the sense that it's a freebie. So all you have to do to win this deck is fight against the the CPU, the bot player, several times, well quite a lot to get the mastery orbs you need and you can fill out And there's a bunch of cards in here which do surveil. And there's a bunch of ones which benefit from surveil. So we have Demir Spybug is the most famous one. Obviously you might want four copies of this in your deck, I don't know. I might bump it up to four if I can trick the cards. But generally he has flying, he has menace. And whenever you surveil you put a plus one plus one. So I've got this up to like a five five ones, usually before it's killed. <laughs> Sometimes the opponent twigs on what you're doing and they kill it before it gets ridiculous. But generally, a pretty good card. There's also some, there's some other ones as well that you want out. Whispering Snitch, whenever you surveil for the first time each turn, Whispering Snitch deals 1 damage to each opponent and you gain a life. So this is just easy poke damage, easy life game, it's really fun. <laughs> and explain its appearance, return target creature, so you surveil 1, surveil 1, surveil 2, Whenever you surveil, put a plus one plus one counter. You know, there's some like really cheap cards in here that are easy to play, low mana cost, and the surveil combos get ridiculous. So, if I just go up here a bit, I think it's. Mm, it might not be blood operative. There is one card, where is it? Thief of Sanity, there we go. Whenever Thief of Sanity deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player's library. Exile one of them face down, then put the rest in their graveyard. You may look at it and cast that card for as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast that spell. So basically once it gets to the controlling state, you can use Seas of Sanity to basically just play out your opponent's deck for them. You mill them, you take what you want, you surveil, control yourself, and then you just hit them with big ass bugs, and then you'll obviously have Whispering Snitch, is really annoying. You know, they can't kill everything, so <laughs> this gets ridiculous. Obviously there's some other ones, Whisperer, Adrian, I don't seem to use a lot, but he has Flash, and whenever he enters Battlefield, Surveil 1. And these aren't, they aren't just like one or two cards that have Surveil, pretty much all the deck has Surveil in it, so it's really good. There's obviously things like Tyrant Spawn, which is just good, because, yeah, well, you destroy a creature, convert a mana cost to 3 or less, or you return a creature to a dog owner's hand. So, yeah, pretty good. We have like other cards in here, I'll just quickly go through. These double cards are pretty good. I like them cut especially getting to surveil three, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. This is useful for just like recurring like creatures that we want back, such as where is it? Thief of Sanity is a good one. And then we have another one down here. So that's for the Sciencer is a legendary creature. It's a vampire. Can't be blocked, and over whenever it deals combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on that card. 
that player loses the game if they if they own three or more exile cards with hit counters on them. So basically, you need to hit the hit the opponent three times with Etra. because it's flying it's death touch it's hex proof it's annoying yes it's four mana but it's three three with flying death touch hex proof yeah it's insane deadly visit destroy type creature surveil two and probably the most expensive card in the deck so if you wanted to build this deck in real life what's what's probably stopping you is this exact card is worth i think between the region of 20 quid and 30 quid. So this is a very expensive card. It has flying, trample, and you can pay two life to surveil too. This is basically a free surveil every turn, as long as you have sufficient life. Paying five mana for 6-6 six, six with flying trample is good enough, but the fact you can just continuously surveil is just ridiculous. Like, obviously City Watchers Sphinx ain't too bad as well, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's toughness lets it down. But Jeremy, this is a really cool deck. I thoroughly recommend it. It is surprisingly easy to play since the combos have heavy out themselves. Everything benefits from Surveil. The other decks they focus on Convoke, Trample, that kind of thing. I don't like them as much as this one. I think this one's a lot more control based and it's a lot more generally just a lot more powerful in my opinion. <laughs> but um if you want to see any more budget decks or any more like reviews I can review over the, the decks you've won. And I've got like a bunch of other crap lined up. I've got just generally flying blue things as well. I've got rat colony to show off at some point. So I've got plenty of cool budget things. If you if you like budget, you like crazy, then yeah, I'm a powers. This is what I'm built for, so 